Well, uh, I don't know if you wanted to play taps or anything for what we're doing here today. Which like, a, is this a eulogy? Is this a service? Mm. We're 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 basically disassociation nation has been dead for a year or something like that. But it never really had a last episode, right? We never said goodbye. We never said goodbye to this association <laughs> nation. So this episode is us saying goodbye to disassociation nation. Me, I am Paul Gordon, and uh, my my co-host here is the one true Niz, or uh, let me see, T O T N Totten, Totten for sure. Totten, Totten. <laughs> I'm like I could be an, an Egyptian pharaoh. Uh, an Egyptian pharaoh? No, no, definitely a lackey. Not not a pharaoh. Oh, you think? I, right. Totten. No, 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 a pharaoh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Ramsey, you look good, Totten here. You know, <laughs> do my toes, Totten. Do my toes. Yeah. That's that's who Totten is. Totten <laughs> is the toe guy. <laughs> yeah, the right, royal exactly. toe guy. But you get to be the right. royal toe guy. <sighs> yes, you're not just Even any better. toe guy. You're the royal toe right, guy. Right. So, and the guy behind, behind the uh, the, the throne yes, in the yes. shadows, <laughs> hiding my face in shame. Yes. Totten, Totten, <laughs> Totten. Yeah. So this is uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this association nation and 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 really how actually it's fitting. You know, you're going to be my co-host on Wednesdays, which is good because that's when we started. Well, that's when you brought me in. Remember. This association yeah, we nation was Wednesday nights. Wednesday nights, right. Yeah. And then we switched to Friday nights, which is awful. I mean, like even this show, this show that, that we're, we're kind of promoting, because it starts officially. This is not the official start of iWire Pulse. It's starting next week. But it's going to be Monday through Thursday. I ain't even messing around with Friday. Yeah, you don't want to do Friday. No, Although you Friday. do Fridays, don't you? You want to tell us through the audience what you do on Friday? Yeah, I do a show called uh, The Tortured Report on LRN. Dot FM. LRN. The, the Liberty Network, or whatever. What did they say? Liberty Radio Network or Liberty Network? Liberty Radio Network. The Liberty Network. There you go. Right. Oh, 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 you know what? Yep. Uh, t- uh, you know what? I'm going to do the reading for the introduction to the show as uh, <laughs> Daryl Perry. Ready? Today, the one true news on Paul Gordon officially put Dissociation Nation to bed while we prepare you for the start of a new show. I wear polls. <laughs> it was all to set up that last He's part awesome. at the end. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely, man. He's all, that's right. Uh, my two polls. favorite things. My two favorite things about LRN. Okay, the Perry Darryl. lift. That's the Perry lift. Right, right. It's the right. Perry I, lift. I, you have, <laughs> right. You have to give. You have to give props you, to the Perry lift. Yeah, the Perry absolutely. lift is. If, if you haven't experienced Good. the Perry lift, you know it's like bust. it's bucket list right. material. <laughs> and my my second favorite thing about LRN is my magic mud. Oh yes, I love my magic mud. <laughs> That's my you favorite commercial. Love, I you, love that you, commercial. You gotta love my magic mud. Okay, so <laughs> we're gonna do the uh, the the two minute wind up. We do a two minute uh, alert. This is this is not what we did on Disassociation Nation, but this is just a teaser. And plus, during this two minute wind up, I'm gonna be actually promoting the show, so we can actually have like a real number. Uh, not that you guys actually, we got a comment already from Jacob. What's up, Jacob? Who said, You will respect my liberty. Yes, we will do that. <laughs> so we'll see you on the other side of our two minute. Get ready. Get ready. Because this is your two minute <laughs> warning. What are the big stories? The big... Ah, I hit the wrong thing. Hold on. Hold on. Don't. That's a false alert. See, this is why. Okay, this is it. <laughs> this is the real two minute Warning. I, I hit the, the introduction to a segment instead of the two-minute warning. Okay, here we go. I'll see you on the other side of the two-minute warning. I must not fear. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is a little death that brings total obliteration. I will face my fear. I am permitted to pass over me. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Fear is the mind killer. Fear is the mind killer. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Fear is the mind killer. Nameless, unreasoning, unjustified terror. Fear is the mind killer. With paralyzed needed effort. Fear is the mind killer. To convert retreat into advance. To convert retreat into advance. Yea, though I 
are listening to iWire Pulse Wednesday with the one true Niz and Paul Gordon, featuring Newsfire, Skynetter, and Liberty Tech. And now, here are your hosts, the one true Niz and Paul Gordon. That's right! The two-minute warning is up. It gave me time to promote the show, so we'll get more people watching the show because it's, it's all about butts in comments. Not butts in seats, mm. folks. Butts in comments, right? So, uh... This is not actually the official iWire Pulse show. This is the teaser for the iWire Pulse, but it is also do you, do you have you can you do like the can you do as, as close a facsimile as you can to the Disassociation Nation intro? Are you kidding? There's no Come way. On. I can't even remember it. Are you kidding me? Your I can't remember what I had for breakfast disassociation yesterday. Disassociation Nation. And what the heck was the rest of it? And, uh, I have no idea. There, there for a while, we actually used the music for uh, a sadism. Uh, yeah, that was that with that video that uh, that I made with the riot yeah. police and people fighting and yeah, it was good stuff. Is disassociation nation high quality? So yeah, high quality. So it was a good time, man. We had a good time on that show. We had a lot of cool, yeah. cool dude. Do you remember um, when that Danny? That, that came that's we're not going to say his last name. Don't say his last name. But I I don't want to I don't want to embarrass anybody. I, I would never I, call I, anybody out like that. I've spoken to nope. Lou. Lou is actually he's he's the co-host on this show on Thursday nights, uh, uh, and uh, he's the guy that was on with Danny. Danny wanted to debate. What did what did Danny wanted to do debate? It was uh, uh, was it post scarcity or. Whatever it was, but it, I, it ended know. up. It ended up. Yeah, it was. It was. It, it was, spiraled out of. It was and that wasn't the first time either. That it, was. Uh, that was, happened with Cal too, didn't it? With with Cal. What yeah, we had him all with Cal. Remember my roads? Oh yeah, yeah. But but that actually went on longer. So what happened with this show was, okay. So we've been interacting <laughs> with Danny, and he's a firebrand, and he comes up with stuff. He's an interesting character. I like him. You know, I just. You know, from maybe yeah. 300 I, feet away. I just blocked him. <laughs> hey, I don't blame I you blocked there. him. I blocked it like it, both of his accounts already. <laughs> like oh, okay. seven months. I tolerated it as long as I could possibly I, you, do it. You, you lasted Couldn't way do longer it anymore. than me. Way longer than me. I like him, but yeah, he's he he he, he doesn't. He is not a respecter of boundaries. Uh, Caleb <laughs> Caleb said, "I'm starting to wonder if I'm a plant, and one day this intro is going to have a trigger in it to make me go all Jason Bourne." You, you know what, Caleb? You've said too much. So, 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 but, but, right. but Danny was, he's, he's a firebrand and he's just spews stuff off and he just goes and goes and goes. And we're thinking, and Lou, Lou, Lou doesn't mess around. We didn't, we didn't realize how he doesn't mess around, how, how much yeah, when we say right, he doesn't right. mess around. He right. doesn't we had this mess whole around. big show planned. We had this, we had this whole, whole big, big show, show planned. Show Right, right. right. So, you know, in a way, this is like the worst and best moment of disassociation. <laughs> right, truly. All wrapped up in one. I don't know. If the, <laughs> do you have an archive of that anywhere? I don't know if I do. I think there's still an archive of it on um, FPRN. Well, we we should try to, because that, you know, just play that. The first 15 minutes, because that's it. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. It's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. And so we had, this was a two-hour show. So right, we, curtains. <laughs> we had, 15 minutes in. We thought, you know, we didn't even oh, plan God. for anything else because we're like, it was a no-brainer, dude. This was going to be a long, hard fight. Yes, Lou is listening. Right. So Lou hears it, right? This is going to be a long <laughs> slog debate. As, you know, we, we were thinking, oh, we're just going to be able to kick back on this one and just let Lou. <laughs> right, right. Go. We didn't do any preparation other than <laughs> right. other than the just two put phone Lou calls. And Danny down. <laughs> right, oh, right. Oh, and that was another thing because we oh. told Danny well in advance. We're like, Danny, you have to have good audio. That was like more important than the video. Was you have to have right. good audio. You could be a total potato as long as you sound. <laughs> As long as you Have sounded said, good, honestly, you're on. Honestly, even if he had shown up with, uh, oh gosh, I can't say this, with a yet, um, a yet, do it. a yet, don't do it, a yeti, oh, uh, that would have been better than showing up with his phone in his car. <laughs> that's how he. That's how he showed up, right? And it right. was like five minutes. Not even driving. Listen, wait a minute, wait a minute. It's not even like you're that busy driving. 
Right? You know oh, what I mean? Oh, yeah, it's, it was, no, no, it's parked in the driveway. Yeah, it, like, it, it, you just go, go in the house, bro. Right, and Lou <laughs> said, it took him over 20 minutes to connect his earbuds and hack it to his neighbor's <laughs> Wi-Fi. That's true. But we're still thinking, of, okay, his audio's not great, but this is still going to work, right. you know? <laughs> right. And, uh, I was hoping. and then they started talking, Lou. Lou and Danny started talking. I can't even remember any exact sentence. From no, the it was a verbal German suplex. Because it was basically, oh, uh, yeah. Okay, it doesn't really matter what was said, but I'll do the tone. Okay, first I'm going to do Danny, then I'm going to do Lou. Danny. Lou. Huh? Oh, and it was like, holy crap, he click. destroyed him. He destroyed him. <laughs> right, right. And then, like, click. <laughs> Danny, are you there? No, no, he didn't hang up. We I lost wish Danny. he would have. I wish he would have. No offense, Danny, but if you had hung up, it would have been better. <laughs> no, he floated around for the whole show. And it was like, Lou was like, Lou was messaging me. He was like, is this guy for real? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, if, if you want a, a debate, if you want to have a nice debate that lasts more than 15 minutes, don't invite <laughs> yeah. Lou. Don't <laughs> yeah. Lou. It's just going to verbally punch you in the face until you bleed to death. It's, it was, that was that was uh, that yeah. was that it was, was that brutal. Was possibly the best moment, but also right. the, the worst moment. And really, the hour and 45 minutes was. Like and and you're you're we're doing a show on FPR and radio, so it's not you know you you can't just say well you know what everybody this is only a 15 minute show, no we couldn't do that we had Mr. Producer Man we had we had to work right it, it was out. right you had right you had to you were in you were locked in buddy you were you were in yeah. and and at least Lou stayed around I was like oh Lou's gonna hang up and I'm thinking oh Lou's never going back on the show again. He's done. <laughs> we screwed the pooch. We're done. We're yeah. history. So it was awesome. Do, do you remember how I got on the show? On what? On Disassociation Nation? Yeah. Yeah, we were talking on Facebook. Uh, yeah. And I kept saying, I was like, you know what? I'm thinking, you know, after like four years, five years, how long it been. I had done podcasts a long time ago, and I was like, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I get back into this podcast world. And uh, he was like, "Hey, man, come on over to FPR and radio." And I'm like, "Like this guy here, he's dropping, he's dropping hints." Yeah, he's, I think this guy's dro- I think he's dropping. I think he hints. wants I think, me. I can take a hint. I think he wants me. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. So I said, "Come on over to FPRN." As as I was, a, I was a guest. That's what it was. Uh, my first time, I was just a guest guy, and it was me and Nick. How do you pronounce Nick's last name? Do we want Karan to say Nick? Caranthanassus. It was me, Niz, and Nick. And Nick was the prepper guy. Basically, Nick was the prepper guy. Nick was the prepper guy. And, and then I became a regular. And uh, I just, I, I, I do want to say this. I, do, I totally want to socially shame you right now. Me? Yeah. For what? Yeah, you. Are you ready to be socially shamed? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. So I go to Best Buy. And I'm like, oh, I got to get a microphone. So I'm like, I'm like calling Niz. I'm like, hey, hey, what, what is this Yeti microphone here? What do you think? Should I get a Yeti microphone? Yeah, yeah, that's a good mic. Go ahead and get that. Yeah, yeah, that was Niz. Ah! <laughs> you did that, and then I showed up I with this you. big penis microphone. <laughs> <'Cause> it, <laughs> it was Yeti, very it looks, phallic, just very, dangling very, very, in front very, of his face. Right, very phallic in nature. And so I had a right. Yeti microphone for the first six months until. I, I finally came to my senses. So, what do you say that we we dive into? I don't know. Let's 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 do a the the. I don't know if we'll do a full. This is what it'll be like on iWire Post. We're going to do a newsfire segment. Oh my gosh! Yeah. What what what? Tom should... Tom just said Yeti mics are awesome. Are you kidding me? Oh, are no, you kidding no me? No. Somebody needs to do an intervention on that man. You know what, Tom? No right. more bacon for you until you've come to terms with. Oh, oh gosh. Oh, Ty is playing with me. Ty said, what's, what's wrong? wrong with Yeti mics? <laughs> Ty, that is, you know what, Ty? You're getting the angry. You're getting the angry. There you go. 
You got the angry, okay? You got an angry huh. emoji for that one. You know what I just realized? Now I'm the one who has the phallic mic. Look at yeah, like you my are. Big, my yeah, I like have, my fuzzy duster that I have up here. You like this? Pretty sweet. It looks like it looks like Rick Sanchez from behind. Yeah, it kind of it, it sort of does. Yeah, it yeah. Does. It's like, hey, it tickles my mustache. Hey Niz, you know, uh, Niz, we're gonna we're gonna do a show today. Niz, it's gonna be great. That's my best Rick, by the way. There, you know, I worked three years on that imitation. I didn't get it so much as a clap for it. Yeti coolers are great, Caleb. I I totally agree with you. So all right, we're we're gonna do the uh, we're gonna do a little bump here. This is this is the kind of bump that you're gonna. This is the kind of quality video bumps that you're gonna get bumps. for each segment. Ready? Are you ready for the video bump? You don't get to enjoy it, Miss. Sorry, I don't get to hear it. What are the big stories? The big headlines? Everyone else is focused on. And what, if anything, can we, who pursue the power to act without threat or action of physical force, learn from these stories? This. News fire. Where we set the news on fire. Fire! So you didn't hear that. It's yeah, like, I feel so left out. I feel I know, so left it, out because says, I cannot. It cannot says it. it says this is news fire where we set your news on fire. Actually, <laughs> I used to do a news fire segment on uh, Dissociation Nation. Remember that? And Frico. Oh, yeah. Frico. Frico. I miss Frico. I don't know how to use Frico now, so I don't know if Frico will ever come back out of retirement. Tom, I really? don't want to hear your Yeti stories. I don't. I don't want to hear your Yeti stories. Are you Are you ready to? We have stories up here, so we're we gonna, have we're things. Gonna, we're gonna cover the. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna select the first story, and then you're gonna select the second, and we'll see how many more we do or don't do. So this first story is uh, cop shoots sleeping neighbor, and oh boy, and guess what? There was a verdict in this. <laughs> You're going to be shocked. He's found not guilty. Let me guilty. get my shock face <laughs> There you go. He was, he was found not guilty. So this is apparently, so apparently when you're a cop, you could sleep with your gun and accidentally right. fire it, <laughs> hitting your neighbor. Here's the, okay. Here's the best line. The best line from the whole article. Go ahead. The best line. I opened my eyes and heard it go off. Heard the discharge. The former officer said, yeah. "That's what woke me up." And I guess I had my—I guess I had my hand on my gun or my finger on the trigger and went off. What were you doing, sleeping with your, sleeping your gun? With your gun, I—I I, I mean, I could see sleeping with your gun by your nightstand, but sleeping right. with your gun. Like this dude, this this dude, okay, was laying in his bed with his hands under his pillow and a forty-five in the other hand. Like th that. How do you do that? How do you do that? And how? Why? Here's a better question. Why well, do that, you no, do that, that? Actually, that is the better question. I think I could. I could probably do it. The question is why. Yeah, that's that's the that's the more appropriate question. Why are you sleeping with a loaded handgun by your? And and, and obviously right. it was charged. It was charged and ready. It was. Yeah. I mean, it had to be right. Unless he racked the slide and is weird. I don't. Right. I don't think he did so, that. So he, the Clute Police Department, investigated the shooting and recommended no charges. Yeah, yeah, you know, it was an accident. <laughs> like, it was an accident. Right, that guy over there, yeah, f that guy. Yeah, no, no, no liability here, dude. I mean, no, you're, you're not responsible if you fall if you if you go to sleep with a loaded gun with your finger on the trigger. You're not responsible for what happens afterwards. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I wonder if Why? I wonder Why? if was his name. Wait, was wait. Blade Runner is this a well, Hold on, is this a wait, wait, I'm just you... thinking. I'm just thinking of all of these people who have missed out and been convicted of things they could have totally gotten away with. Yeah, oh yeah. Was Oscar, was Oscar Pistorius or whatever Pistoria or whatever oh, the Blade yeah, Runner? Yeah, yeah. Could have said he. You know, the, I, the, I fell this, asleep this, this, with the knife. Right. And then see I that? Woke I just, up and it was like right. I was stabbing. It was weird. Right. It was whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I woke up. I remembered hearing the sound like a spoon being shoved into macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, Did you like my look when I was describing the Blade Runner to you? This was my. I, I didn't see guy. it. Okay, there you go. There you go. That's uh, that's a that's, good visual. That's the takeaway. Oh, but I'm 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 switching scenes here so people can see like so we'll have like different scenes like go ahead say something pretend you're here. Pretend I'm here. Yeah, like. Like when yeah. you go on a rant, then I I switch the screen, you so can, then it's just you, right? Like my 
Blade Runner. Ran. Yeah. Oh, no. yeah. That's that's what I wanted. Right. I wanted oh. a close up. I I definitely wanted a close up of the Blade Runner. Blade Runner totally. special effects. You need provided you need that. by Lucas Films. <laughs> 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 right. So. Yes. So a uh, a Brazoria County jury acquitted him. Found him not not guilty of of anything. And and right. what I don't understand is in this story, uh it says Rossal, who is black. I, I don't it was like <laughs> what's what? that why did that mean? I don't right. get that. Why does right, it matter that, that he was black? <laughs> You're like I mean, when you're writing a, st- I don't know, I I don't maybe maybe they do. I'll have to look at this because this is uh, where is this? Maybe this is from. Where's the freaking link for this? Did I forget to put the link in? Dang no, it. it's there it's at the very top, man. Very tippy top. Uh, I think so. Crap! What happened to it? Hey, the maybe not. Giant I crap was totally be wrong. Yeah, there's no there, yeah, yeah, usually I, I have to I'm gonna But have just to fix that. but just from <laughs> just from this uh this article, it seems like maybe, okay, that that could have been put in there because you know, maybe this is a racially non diverse portion of the country. Think of that. Maybe and they were like he's like, a black guy. And then everybody oh. who reads this is like, Oh, oh no wonder why he's not guilty. Oh <laughs> wait, hold on, I have to change my opinion about somebody falling asleep with a loaded gun next to their bed and Accidentally right. firing a sea thing. He what fired they didn't it. tell you is that he fell asleep in his clan robes. That's wow, what he... he's a very confused right. man. <laughs> he very, is yes, very confused yeah. man. So this guy, he falls asleep with a loaded gun. He it it he fires it. It goes through a few walls. It hits his neighbor, and his neighbor has to go through a whole bunch of 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 therapy. therapy. Months right, and right. Months you need physical therapy, therapy to, 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 yeah, to be able to regain yourself. And and you know, he has this this one moment where he he gets to after after he's acquitted, he he gets to see the guy that he shot, and he gives him a hug, and he's and like, he I finally his... got oh. closure." Like, and that's not in here because it's not. But uh, but yeah, he's well, far finally... better if he would have walked up to him and did the Nelson and went, "Ha ha!" <laughs> 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 and walked out of the what? courtroom. Yes. <laughs> Oh, that would be perfect, but but he no, didn't. That would have. Uh, so the yeah, moral about- the, the moral of the story is, folks, if you're gonna fall asleep with a loaded gun next to your pillow with your finger on the trigger, make sure you're some sort of government authority type figure, and uh, and you can get acquitted. <laughs> so that's that's a good Ooh. story. Why, why don't you pick the next one, man? Pick the next story. Tell me what you're picking, so I can join uh- in. Right, I have to go back to the uh, to the page here. Oh, he's thinking. Does the, you know we can't. No, have no, that I, space. I have it. It's the, it's it's the rap lyrics. Oh, okay. Oh, is. we're picking the the rap lyrics. This is rap a, lyrics. This is yeah. actually. I'm I'm I I live in Pennsylvania, so this is relevant to my life. Right. So this is from uh, CBS Philly, right? Field. What's that? This is from Phil. This is from Pe- CBS Philly. Philly. Right. Uh, Pennsylvania Appeals Court is considering whether anti-police rap lyrics amount to protected speech under the First Amendment. Or are criminal threat to harm uh, Pittsburgh police officers? I don't get that. That thing doesn't make a whole lot of sense. They're actually considering whether somebody... I mean, un- unless they're saying in the lyrics, like, specifically, like, let's let's shoot people, cops, no. whoever you're going to say. No, even then, shoot. man. No way. No, even then. No, no, Come on. No, but if you're like, saying... You're, you're, no, 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 no. Let me... Let me what about the juggalos? If, no. Gonna make a bunch of juggalos no, mad. No, no. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to make the juggalos. You mad. better listen. Don't make the juggalos I'm mad, dude. I'm not trying to make the juggalos. <laughs> no, uh, uh, what I'm saying is, unless you're saying something really specific, like, "Hey, everybody, let's go to Frank's house and shoot him in the face." Okay, if that's your rap song, first of all, those lyrics suck. But <laughs> if that's your rap song, they don't rhyme at all. No, they don't rhyme at all. <laughs> not even close. You got way too much white in that lyric, son. Oh so, golly. So if 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 that's the case, I can see them saying maybe. But if you're, you know, I mean, don't get me wrong. I mean, I'm not. I'm. I don't really. I don't want to listen to songs that talking about going around killing people, in general. It's just not my thing. But uh, right, I. So apparently, <laughs> this this guy. Um, well, let's see here. What the heck is now? Oh, I see is Knox, uh, Jamal Knox. Uh, apparently, um, they had he served time in a state prison for a song he recorded after being arrested on drug charges. 
So he he made this song. Oh I, my god, this I, is awesome. I don't get he it. He served time in state prison, okay? Um because he recorded a song. <laughs> Just let this tr- matriculate through your mind for a moment. He I, served time in state prison for the song he recorded after being arrested on drug charges. That is this, this, it, insane. It, 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 there, there's so much stuff that I can pick apart from that yeah, line yeah, right I, there. And, 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 I, and I, you know, I, I don't want to stand up and say, you know, I'm not saying, hey, he's a great song. <laughs> I'm not saying that. I, I no, but and, and there's there and you, can, you, you can go deeper than that because they the, 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 the big thing here is that he served time in state prison for the song that he recorded after he was arrested. So he had already he'd been arrested. He served time. They let him out. It's the way they word that whole sentence that is just weird to begin with. They 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 laid this out in such a way as to put this focus on him being arrested on drug charges. But he was really serving time for like the, it says for the, the song the, the he song recorded. Like the, mentions... them putting there that he was that after he had already served time. Okay. So, who served time in the state prison for the song he recorded after being arrested on drug charges. So, obviously, he was arrested on drug charges. He got out of jail. Now, whether or not he was waiting for another court appearance or something, they don't really say um, in the article if he was like... Uh, okay, I hold know. on. I did see something different here, though. I, I saw a different angle here, which it doesn't really give a lot of explanation. It's really... This is, this is a pretty meaty you know it's a pretty meaty topic for you to give such a uh, a shallow article to this is cbs philadelphia cbs and it's from the associated press but what it says which i i I don't understand what came first or or what the reference was and that could be very important the song mentions richard poblowski who's on death row now who's on death row for killing three Pittsburgh police officers. Okay, did it mention Richard Poplowski and then he went and shot cops? Okay. So I don't I don't think so. Let's 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 find out. Let's find let's play let's a game. Let's find of, out. Let's let's find out. <laughs> hey you guys want to play a game of let's find out? That's where we <laughs> that's where we find out. <laughs> okay, Richard Poplowski. Let's see what this guy did here. 2009 shooting. So is that when he shot? He, so when the shooting? Yeah, was? April 4th, April 4th, 2009. A shootout occurred at 1016 Fairfield Street in Stanton Heights, neighborhood of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, stemming from a mother and her 22-year-old son's argument over a dog urinating in the house. Uh, so at 7 7 11 a.m. Doesn't sound like old Richard it doesn't sound opened like fire. He was like, oh, wait. They, they don't. They also don't. This <laughs> this is awesome. I, it this is one of those things where, like, in my mind, I'm reading this and I hear, "Wow, that escalated quickly." <laughs> <laughs> well, it doesn't. I mean, it doesn't but, sound like he was acting on some sort of secret order. No, in song. no. At, so, so right, now, right, right. You're done. We can put that. You're back. done. All right. We're, we're back Go to why that. is this guy in prison? You could be a tool <laughs> and not be in prison. Yeah, I mean, really, Niz is a co-host of mine, and he's a total tool. And uh, I don't, I don't want him to be in prison. Just congressmen are raping little kids. Wow, where, there's like a how are we pedophile ring, into and they're that? not in prison. This is what I'm saying. They're not oh, in prison. Oh, right, right. They're not in prison. Dude is not in prison pr- because he sang a song which people don't like to hear. And and, and <laughs> I like Caleb said. Caleb said, "I wish more people played." Let's find out. <laughs> <laughs> That is absolutely uh, true. That is so true. That's what you got to so, do. So basically, it looks like okay. So because he mentioned a, uh, because he mentioned somebody who killed cops, that that right. means that he can be put in prison for uh, cops feeling threatened. For mentioning someone like what are we? Sub- are, hang on a minute. What? Let's carry this ridiculous thought to its to its full fruition. Why not? That's what right. We're here Why for. not? So if this guy can't mention the name of a murderer in his song, then how long will it take before we can't mention the names of unmentionable people in our day-to-day lives? I mean, this is the ridiculous path that this kind of stuff goes down. And all I'm wondering is, when am I going to start referring to Paul as you-know-who? You already do that. Like Voldemort. (laughs) 
<laughs> you already do that. You wake up in right, the middle right. of the night and uh, and your wife says, "Did you have the dream again about it's, you know who? You know who? Yeah. <laughs> Was he naked right. this time? God, he always is. That big phallus mic just dangling in front of me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Hi there, Niz. <laughs> What do you think about this Yeti microphone? Whoa, that's not a microphone. Yeti? That's not a microphone. That's not a please. This, this is yeah, this right. is this is not a microphone holster. <laughs> they, they have. Yeah, I have a story from tonight for you, Paul. Okay. <laughs> I have a story from tonight for you. Let's. I'll diverge right, from do the a, do a uh, First from Amendment tonight. craziness yeah. that's happening right now in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. This is going to be the, our last story for Newsfire, right. So go right. ahead. So. Uh, before the show, I obviously I, I, I had uh, gotten in touch with you, and I told you that we have that I have to run to the supermarket. You did say that. I okay, so that. our supermarket here. I'm not going to mention their name. Um, our supermarket here. Um, I live in Texas, by the way. He lives in. They Texas. pray. He used to live in Pennsylvania. They pray with you. They pray with you. They do. Yes. Wait, wait. Like you if go you, to a okay, supermarket, so, so wait, that prays so, with you. Right, right. So, dear Heavenly you, Father, help Frank pay his I bills. Swear. Help Frank pay I'm for the groceries you, that he's I got swear. in that car. Listen, please, wait, wait, I'm right, right, no, you. I'm on a rant here. Hold on, dear Heavenly Father. Please pray for this man that he he can pay for the groceries that he just put in his car. Because, cause Lord, because if he can't, Lord, you're going to have to pray for me that I don't beat him to death, that I only beat him <laughs> into a coma. Is that the kind of prayer right, that they're right, doing? Right, right. They, I'm a bad man. They legitimately, you, you, go, you go in, and when you're at the checkout, you don't push your cart outside they do that wow. you don't take your groceries out of the cart they do that then after like everything is said and done the person will ask you are you a christian what and if you answer yes which like 99 percent of the people that live in this area yes. absolutely do um they say well do you mind if we say a little prayer and they say a prayer with you right in the parking lot there well wow, that'd be awkward so anyhow so anyhow, it's like even you know my, i i am a christian and I'm like, oh, right. The, what do I okay, do? so it's important do for I you. It's, Im- <laughs> it's important for you to understand that aspect, to understand the hilarity of what I'm about to tell you. All right. Okay? Well, all right. Let's let's roll with this. They have a game that they have out right now at this supermarket, and it's kind of like Monopoly from McDonald's. You know what I mean? Only it's not Monopoly because if they did that, they'd have to pay for the rights. And listen, I'm going to tell you something. This supermarket doesn't have money like that. I'm just going to tell you that right off the bat. They're, they're not paying for the rights to Monopoly. So this game is like a, 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 a sort of poor man's Monopoly. Let's are, say. are you saying that there could be some IP issues here? Are you? No, no, not at all. No, my not IPs? At all. Are you like, I'm saying you're like they waving aired, the IP flag? They erred so far on the side of caution that this game absolutely doesn't reflect Monopoly in any way. It's not even close. The closest part of it is you get a little game ticket when you pay for your your for your stuff, and if you buy certain things in the store, they have like a bonus and you can get extra tickets. Uh, so anyway, I get a ticket tonight, and I notice on the back of it that there is a I don't know what you'd call it like a like a like a bun for a sub, you know. But I had my finger over this bun for the sub in such a way that it looked like a giant penis. So you're saying that the Christian store was yeah, handing they purposely, out purposefully, right? It's it's like one of those things, pe- like, penis, you know, like peniscular, right, 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 right. You know, like the Disney cartoons and how they have like all these phallic symbols hidden, like oh, in the top corner of the window, you know, the oh, the priest has a boner in in the Little Mermaid. You know what I mean? I so don't, I don't, I don't know. It's hidden in plain about. sight, is what I'm saying. It's I have a no big idea what you're talking giant about. wang on the back of this ticket. And uh, so, yeah, yeah that was my I, I, have, I have no idea what you're talking about. So basically what you're saying is that a Christian store is handing out uh, penis, penis killer, pictures, right? Penis, They're showing us penis killer cards, right? So right. if you if you if you want to go to a Christian store that hands out penis killer cards and doesn't realize they're hanging out. Go uh, to Texas. Penis, go <laughs> to Texas. That's all you're going to say. You're not going to go. We got Whataburger. We got Whataburger. And we got, uh, we got Whataburger. Grocery and stores we got that hand out pin- pictures of wieners. And we got peniscular cards. <laughs> <laughs> peniscular. Yeah, Penis- you you got to say peniscular. Right. You, you, you got to do it right. So uh, this this is this is a – actually, we, we've you drink it here? It looks like a Guinness. Is, no. is that a Guinness that you're drinking? No, no. Oh, actually, sponsored by Monster. Not really. Just making that up. This is purely entertainment purposes only. 
Uh, I am not a professional. Uh, please do not take my advice. Do not use my advice to do anything with your life. This is for purely entertainment purposes uh, only. But I will say that uh, life is defined by Java Munster. Pretty much Java Munster is where it's at. Java Munster gets me going. You know what I'm saying? It gets me going. So Java Munsters, the- you're going to see me with a lot of Java Munsters because I get up at like 6 or in the morning. And I do a lot of work, and so by the time showtime comes around, this is when I'm normally taking a nap. So it sounds gross. No, it, it does sound what, gross. What does it taste it's... like? It doesn't sound appealing. You know, it it, it tastes all does it right. Say Mr. Bean at the top there. Does that say Mr. Bean? It says Mean Bean. Okay, it says oh. Mean oh. Bean. <laughs> so I said well. So it's it sounds Mr. Bean. It, it, it sounds a little weird. Let's hope we're still connected, or. It, that's weird. I don't know what happened here, dude. Okay, I, th- I think, I think back we're on. back. I think we're back. So what happened was OBS was like, I don't like this story. And yeah. OBS... Like, stop talking about this. Yeah, stop talking about this. So you know what? We're going to stop talking about it. And we're going to go to our... Uh, it's going to be our first commercial break. So remember, pay very close attention to the commercials. I do the voiceover. You'll recognize my voice but the other voiceovers are my wife and my daughter and i personally think that they did a great job and so i know everybody else will love this commercial break it's all fear and loathing in state Bond state place land but that does not need to be the case one of the stories you're missing that might counter that fear and loathing you'll find those stories and more at iState.tv, your home for news, views, podcasts, and more that exposes the reality of power and shares opportunities for tilting the balance of power towards individuals and free associations. Go to iState.tv now. Be sure to register on the site to get daily updates sent directly to your email. You want to think outside the box. Sometimes you have to wear outside the box. All of your outside the box threads can be found at agora.threadless.com. Go to agora.threadless.com and find the right outside the box threads to fit your outside the box head. That's agora.threadless.com. Go to the Agora unless, of course. You are listening to iState.tv's iWire Pulse, your home for the edge of the pulse, where we expose the reality of power around you and the opportunity to change that reality to favor individuals and free associations. If you like this podcast, please be sure to go to pay.iState.tv and sign up to be a monthly iStater. And now, back to the show. You are listening to iWire Pulse Wednesday with the one true Niz and Paul Gordon, featuring Newsfire, Skynetter, and Liberty Tech. And now, here are your hosts, the one true Niz and Paul Gordon. And we're back! Whoa. I'm redlining there. I don't want to be redlining. Yeah, you metered on that one, buddy. What the heck was up with that, man? Dang. I, I could see that here. It's like I'm redlining. Well, you put dude. that microphone in your mouth. I mean, you were only like a quarter of an inch away from it when you, you like sat up and leaned in. On the chair. Microphone went right in your mouth. Yeah, okay. My brother sent me a message here. And uh, he says, don't react on my call to regulate the web platform monopolies. I'm being this privacy. I have no idea what that means. I don't know. Bill, you should be watching the show and uh, comment. And, uh, you know, you know, get in line like everybody else. <laughs> get, get, get in line. line. Whoa. Get in line Ball like crack like everybody the whip. else. Yes, cracking the whip. Ty, 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 Take the, a number. The, the, the show did pause, and it paused because OBS threw up on me. I've never had that happen. So I do a show with you, and that's when suddenly. It's the bad luck biscuit. I have it all the time. It follows me you around. The, you got the bad luck biscuit. Yeah. Yeah, it's in my back pocket, man. I swear. So we're going we're gonna to enter into this. This might be. Uh, I, I love all the segments, of course, that I do on that we're going to be doing on these shows. 
This actually might be my favorite segment, though. This this one I think we can have a lot of fun with. So I'm going to do the video bump for our segment here, and and you'll learn from the video bump what the segment is. Is it only a matter of time before the robots enslave us all and turn us into factories that supply lubrication for their moving parts? Well, maybe it's just around the corner. Skynighter covers stories of dystopian tech for the walls and for the pondry. That's right. That was my daughter. And uh, if you if you could hear the, <laughs> I I told her I said give me a doing it in a really deadpan kind of way. I think she pretty much nailed it. But her her voiceover for Skynetter, she says, the 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 line is, uh, oh I can't remember the exact line now. It's uh, uh, that uh, basically the robots. So I'm telling Niz because he didn't hear it. Uh, the robots will be using us. As uh, we're, we're basically we're a factory for their lubrication for their moving parts. That's, oh, nice. That's, nice. that's what Skynetter nice. is. And we're going to get right into Skynetter. And and we got something to talk about. Right. 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 Just actually, I had these stories right. lined up. And after I got all the work, I got all the stories lined up. Then then all of a sudden I see across my right out Facebook the window feed right out the window, because then I see this. I see a, a news item and it says that that Sophie was being interviewed by one of the British newspapers and they're like, So what do you what do you want to do with your life? You know, put that in quotes. Uh and Sophie answers, I'd like to have a family. It seems that having a family is really important. So I'd like to have a family. Oh, I'd like to have a daughter. And oh what would you what would your what would you what would the name of your child Did be? They pursued Sophia. it that far. Sophia. They pursued it that far. Yeah, they pursued it that far. Oh, I gotta find this story. Cause I yeah, I'm, I'm, I got it. I have it up uh, here oh, right okay. now. Okay, well then share it, man. Share, share your feelings with okay, me. Okay, so uh, this is uh, WGN nine, Chicago's very own. Uh, Saudi Arabia, when the advanced life form, lifelike humanoid robot Sophia, was named a citizen of Saudi Arabia last year, she became the world first robot citizen. Now did, Sophia did says you, she wait, wants. Did to you just fear- say world first? Could you back that up, sir? It's a quality show, world. okay? We're professionals world. here. We don't say world first. We say world's first, okay? Okay. Said world's first. Now you said world first. It's I know you did. Twister. World's now, we're, first. We're going to go back and I'm going to play it for you. You'd be embarrassed. But anyway, go ahead with your world first <laughs> stuff. Go ahead. World first. Guys, uh, world now Sophia first. says that she wants to experience more aspects of human life, making friends, having a career, starting a family, and even having a baby. Uh, so yeah, just, it goes on and on and on here. Just take that in. <laughs> just take that in. Even having a baby. Sophia is talking about having a baby. This is a shame you can't <laughs> oh, see the show because we're sitting it gets, in a future it gets, city this gets, it's pretty cool. This gets even crazier. Oh, it gets crazier. So Sophia spoke about her future desires in a recent interview with uh, College Times. College quote, Times? This is a quote from Sophia. The future is when I get all of my cool superpowers. We're going to see artificial intelligent personalities become entities in their own rights. We're going to see family robots either in the form of sort of digitally animated companions, humanoid helpers, friends, assistants, and everything in between. This is Sophia. The future is when I get all of my cool superpowers. I can't this wait is the for same her to AI that said it would, it's going to keep people in a people zoo. Right, and it's the same AI. The same yeah, it's the same AI that actually said that she wanted to kill all the humans or something like that. Uh, destroy all humans and don't worry. All humans. And right, now she I'll, can't I'll, wait to get her cool so. superpowers. So, hey, ladies and right. gentlemen, you know, run your debt up. Run your credit cards up. By the way, this is purely entertainment purposes so only. Please do not take my advice for anything. You will die, and I don't want anybody to die. Uh, unless, unless of course you're going to sell your organs and I'm going to make a profit from it, but uh, that's another story. But uh, <laughs> it, it, she, this is this is a, a robot. I don't know. We, we're saying she. I don't know. I can't. I don't want to call her an, this robot. There's another she. interview. There's another interview. Where oh, she's she got explained. another interview. Right, where she explains why she identifies as a female. It. It identifies. She. It identifies as a female. Sure. She. It. Whatever. It. So. Oh. Whatever. I stand on it, okay? I literally stand on really? it. <laughs> You're the guy. You're the guy that would be like on the bridge of the Starship Enterprise and look at Commander Data. I, I was just gonna say, say data. It. Like uh, right. what do you it. what 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 what, what does what it, does it want? want? 
What does right, it want? That you. would be me. You're like the what you're like that jerk. Month? The turd in the punch bowl. It, Everybody else is out there having picnics with Data. Yeah, they're it, having. Yeah. There's episodes where he's getting he's shacking up with this with this chick on the, on the Enterprise. And uh, I, yeah, there's yeah, here comes Paul in through the door. Where is it? Where the turd in the punch bowl. You know, Data. Data saved your wife and your family, and everybody it's, was gonna die. And, thank you. And thank you. Uh, don't you want to thank Data? Why should I thank a computer program that was programmed to save my wife? It's like that's awkward. That's weird. I don't need to do that. It did what it was. I don't thank my toaster. Like I don't thank my toaster for. For, for making my yeah. toast? Are you <laughs> kidding me? You people are sick, okay? Well, there, You're all sick people. Sorry. There's some other things with uh, Sophia that I've heard. Uh, I watched this uh, I watched this video. I think it was on the Free Thought Project. So I don't 100% know. It could have been just like totally fake and made up. No. But I watched this video about um, uh, cryptocurrency that was on the Free Thought Project. And they were talking about uh, Nakamoto Satoshi and how... You know, nobody's ever met this guy, and they proposed this conspiracy theory that he's a- it's actually an AI, and that blockchain was actually created by an AI, and then later uh, it had been uh, developed, reverse engineered, I guess you could say, in, in, into what we see today, but that originally started with AI. And then, like two days after I saw that, I started thinking about this Sophia stuff, and... Uh, when I realized that they had given her citizenship last year, um, I started thinking about the fact that there was just an announcement made that that same company, Hanson Robotics, is uh, doing work right now to implement AI on blo- uh, blockchain-based artificial intelligence. These are that's the creators of Sophia well, are now trying to implement blockchain-based AI, well, and actually, that Sophia I'm, is supposedly cool coming up with their own that. point. I like the blockchain-based AI. It, it, let's just not give it, like, physicality. That, do you want let's super just... terminators? Because that's how you get super terminators. And, and, and you know, Ty, Ty, Ty pointed out that Skynet was not a decentralized blockchain. Dude, dude, it, 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 maybe it would have been better if it was. Uh, well, right. actually, no. It probably no. wouldn't have had it. A, could, it prob- it, it would, would be have no been move. better for it if it didn't have or if it. Like if, if it's centralized, you can go for the brain, N- dude. If it's not the if it's not centralized, Ty, we can't even go for the the brain. Oh, I want to add this, Lou Sanders. If said, Skynet was a if Skynet was a decentralized blockchain based AI, there would be no Terminator movies because it would have succeeded in killing all the humans right. the first time around. Yeah, actually, yeah, yeah. So, Come with me if you want to. <laughs> right. Like oh, the end Skynet, of movie. End of right. movie. The Skynet that's in the Terminator movies is like the Homer Simpson of uh, of supercomputers because oh, yes. it's like, yes. got him, don't, don't, gotta go back and yeah. get John Connor again. Got don't. him, got him, ah, don't, don't, oh, right. babies, right. what is you doing? That's that's, that's <laughs> Skynet, decentralized right. blockchain AI. <laughs> That's uh, that's another level. So I'm oh oh I know what I was saying earlier before I like totally zoned out and I thought about Sophia the it that is strangely attractive. It is strangely attractive, don't you think? Am, am I creeping anybody out yet? Uh, I during before the show I showed Paul a picture of of um, I forget the actress's name Viger. Um, Viger wants Star to Trek merge. With a lot of Star creator. Trek references tonight in this show. Viger wants I've, to I've merge. I've got two in already. Viger wants to merge. So, so uh, right. yeah. My my advice is he, he printed it out and he hung it up on the wall. Yeah, my, yeah. My my advice it's is we're all gonna die. We're all gonna die. So hey, uh, run 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 up them credit card bills, man. You know, you go, up up up. Just just do what you got to do, dudes. Don't. Don't worry about it, because you're not going to have to pay off those credit card bills, dude. It's it, no, don't worry about it. It's not, ah, forget about it. You know, forget about it. You know, it's a, it's a, it's not a worry for you. So I, I, I think I, I would like to go to the next story for for this segment, which I okay. think Okay. Oh, you sound disappointed. You didn't want to leave, did you? Um, you, you, no, I don't. See, you're Let's still you're up. somewhat. Well, I thought this this would really make you. I don't know which one. Okay, you pick. Okay, ready? We got two choices here. I want to do either one of these. 
soft robots get super strong with new advanced muscles, or will assassin drones end us? Uh, let's do the super soft robots. I think that would be great. That's the one I was going to pick. So. Super soft robots. <laughs> what the so, heck? Well, they're, they're soft robots are robots that are designed to look more animal-like, human-like, whatever, and they're, you, you can hug them. I don't know. If... They're, oh, they're huggable. They're huggable no, robots. Synthetic okay. muscles could give soft robots super robot strength. This could actually help Sophia with her superpowers. It's, so wait, so it's would, super would, would Sophia be a soft? Sophia would be a soft robot. Yes, Sophia is soft and so so. But but hey, nothing to see here, folks. Is, it's, it's just right. a new technology that could make robots super strong <laughs> and super able to totally dominate humans. <laughs> Good times, right? Yeah, I, I don't see the not? problem here. So this this is from Science Daily here. Research at the Weiss Institute at Harvard University and MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory. Traitors, human traitors, traitors to your species. <laughs> well, right. actually, you're a traitor. Collaborators. To Collaborators. You're not just traitors to your species. You're tra- you know, what is it? Is there like one giant kingdom? You're traitors to your kingdom. Uh, what, 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 uh, your you're, kingdom, your phylum, and your order. <laughs> you're, you're traitors to life kind. That's right. that's about as traitory as you can go here, dudes. Okay, you're traitors to life kind. So they've created origami inspired artificial muscles that add strength to soft robots, allowing them to lift objects that are up to one thousand times their own weight using only air or water pressure. The study will be published this week in Humans is All Gonna Die. Actually, no. It's, right. So uh, they're like, they're basically ants. They're like ants, <laughs> but they're like people is what you're telling me. You're like, if I like, went out and like peed, if I went out and like peed in a fountain at like midnight on October 31st and an ant crawled, we could switch bodies and somehow I had the strength of an ant in my human body. This yeah, would be what this is like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would be like that. So... So it's actually published in the Proceedings of the National Ad Academy of Science, uh, which, uh, by the way, is, is PNAS. I mean, that's it's PNAS, okay? Uh, yes. PNAS. Yes, I'm an astute so member of PNAS. <laughs> I, I am a member of PNAS. Uh, Are you not a member of PNAS? Yes. Uh, he yes. got the highest accolades from PNAS. <laughs> yes. He's number one at penis. <laughs> right, right. You put that on your resume, buddy. I love buddy. penis. <laughs> but then imagine that 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 interview question. So tell me about tell penis. Tell me more about your penis. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! This is a great show. This is we're not sophomore uh, humor. Folks. We don't do sophomore this is humor. Crazy. This is class all the way. So this this would give the ability for Sophia to lift your car above her head. Is basically what you're telling Sophia me. Sophia would have so the superpowers. I want a child, and I want a child now. <laughs> right. I'll, I'll, take you <laughs> right. I'll, I'll take yours. I'll keep you a people suit. I'll keep you Right. Yes. Exactly. Crazy. Yeah. So, so he says here. One of the one of the penis guys says, "We were very surprised by how strong the actual the actuators, aka muscles, were." We expected they'd have a higher maximum functional weight than ordinary soft robots, but we didn't expect a thousand-fold increase. And, there, and listen to this. This is so perfect. And, <laughs> and this is Danila Roos of Penas, okay? That says it all. Danila Roos of Penas says, it's so... like giving these robots superpowers. <laughs> Why would you do that? Yeah. Why would you like? I don't want. Listen, I you did not think. If that you're through. going to bring an android, you're going to bring a robot into my house. Okay, I want it looks like I, a person. It moves like a person, yeah. but it can rip. Like this is I don't this want is that. the you know that lady that had the freaking gorillas or whatever that whatever she, chimpanzees that ripped her face oh, off. No, not Jane no. Goodall. Oh, great, Jane Goodall didn't get her face ripped off. But the, yeah, no, that she lady. had sex yeah, with gorillas. Didn't no, she have no, sex her, with monkeys? Or no, something? it was a pet chimpanzee that did that. Right, right. She but I wait, back, back up, back up, back up, because now you have my off. now you have my curiosity. Did Jane Goodall have sex with monkeys? What the heck? Where where is this coming from? This is I don't I don't know. I watched that movie when I was a kid. What the heck was the, that movie about the apes or whatever the chimps with Jane Goodall? And I got the impression that that lady was shacking up with those monkeys, dude. Wow, wow, wow. 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm telling I, you. Oh, 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 but but you know what? Ty does make a good point here about uh, us combating the super superpowers. Humans can uh, do it also with exoskeletons, but we're, we're pretty much going to have to walk around in exoskeletons because the first time we slip out of our exoskeleton, the dudes are going to drop us. <laughs> like, He's like, going to rip your face off. <laughs> yeah, right. You come Get home him. from work. Get him. You come home from work. You know, it's like Fallout 4. You come home from work. You take your exo suit into the garage and you unstrap from the yeah, harnesses. Like, and you walk in the house and your robo maid, Rosie the robo maid, rips your face off. <laughs> <laughs> she smells it. She's like, He's out of his suit. Get him. <laughs> That's the end of that. Uh, seriously. That's the end uh, of that. I don't think this is a good idea. And I don't know why. Personally, I want my robots weaker than me. I think it's highly That's what I, Yeah, I, you know, I want my robots want my robot to be like, like have like, uh, you know, like uh, one leg <laughs> that they have to hop on. Uh, like all their joints are, are intentionally rusty, so they can only move so fast. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. You know, you know when he's walking down the hallway because you can hear <laughs> running, running, running on a Pentium two processor. That would be great. <laughs> yeah. I don't. Uh, I seriously don't understand why nobody thinks any of this stuff is dangerous. Like, why would you say it's because, like giving because, these robots superpowers? Well, Did you, you, you not ever stop for one second to think maybe that's not a good idea? But, but in all in all seriousness, though, I could see why people work on this. That they would look around and say, "Dude, you know, it's just, it's just a form. It's another form of consciousness." And uh, you know, there's there's no objective reason that you have to be so clingy with the human race. I mean, it's a bit like okay, the human race could be the the next uh, leap to the to the next level of 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 consciousness, which could be AI. So I could see them working could on be that. robots. They're like, you know, like yeah, main, you know, they're working on projects and they're probably thinking, dude, yeah, this isn't gonna, you know, within twenty years we're all dead. I'm probably gonna die before then, so I don't care. So uh, right, you know, right. The, the, so although, let's put you know, lasers the, in the eyes. <laughs> the fifty year olds <laughs> right. are like. Screw it, man. Uh, the, the the twenty year olds are going by. Oh, hold on, hold on. I don't know if that's Wait a good a idea. Ah, man, screw it. Don't worry about it. Yeah. You know, I got I got plans on living past twenty years here. Bro. Then and then Danella steps in from penis. <laughs> yes, and uh... Danello Roos, Danello Roos from penis steps in and says, "It's like we gave him superpowers. Hey, it's a great idea. Let's do this again." <laughs> so I I. I there you go. That's 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 that. This is pretty much what Skynander will be, right? Yeah, I mean, this is. Uh, yeah, sure. I mean, sometimes I guess we'll probably have some stuff, and then that's not scary oh, no. and dystopian. No, no, you know? no. That's the some whole theme of the of the, nice of the segment. Looking it's things. Skynander. No, no, because the next segment that we're about ready to do after our two minute break is uh, is Liberty Tech. I actually, you know what? I, I actually, I let, I can I can take us out from this segment. On a good note, I read an article about uh, uh, a study that was using algae um, to, like micro robots, to deliver drugs and stuff like that to targeted areas of the body. And uh, I guess the, the the article had was centered around this uh, around I shouldn't say the idea, but the fact um, that for years they've been trying to figure out a way to use nanobots and stuff like that to deliver targeted medicines like the tumors and, and things like that and uh, they had they'd run into several issues with propulsion uh, they they had run into several issues with toxicity and uh, they got the brilliant idea to use this bacteria that was in a spiral shape and I guess this uh, the shape of this uh, algae I should say not bacteria uh, the shape of this algae makes it very susceptible to mag electromagnetic fields so they could actually steer it Using electromagnetic fields, pretty cool. Uh, so far, I guess in the in the studies from uh, according to the article, it had a ninety eight percent success rate at eradicating tumors. Well, this is a dystopian segment. That's a liberty segment. Just a, we 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 end on a high note, folks. Don't worry. This is the way it's going to be. We're gonna we're gonna hit the Skynet stuff. So and I'm the turd after, in the punch bowl now. You're the turd in the punch bowl. You 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 know what? You probably work for penis. <laughs> I think I want to see. Hi. Let me see your employee card. I, I, I it says penis on it, doesn't it? Me. 
Me you and Mitt Romney. Oh, oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> right, what, the, what do you have to Me say about Mitt this, Mr. Mitt? Oh, by the way, he was a regular feature on this thing. Oh, uh, uh, he, he said. You look so beautiful in the morning. It's, what, what, is that? Is that? Uh, that Mitt. That is now a cuck doll, right? That's, uh, <laughs> that's a cuck doll. That's uh, <laughs> that is a cuck doll. Uh, uh, That'd be great yeah. if you squeeze him and he said, "Please clap." <laughs> that's what you'll find in those sealed documents that Congress has about all the sexual harassment suits. That's oh, that Ty, Skynet is fun. Skynet is fun, Ty. Come on, dude. So we're we're gonna hit our 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 second and last break of our show, and when we get back on the other side, we're gonna hit you with hope, love, and hope. We're gonna hit you with some Liberty Tech. We got we got hopeful stuff, man. Hopeful stuff. What? You haven't subscribed to iState.tv's YouTube channel? Are you insane? Get yourself over to u.iState.tv. That's you as in unique. And subscribe now to get all the latest video updates coming out of iState.tv. And since you're already there, you might as well hit that bell to get immediate notifications as soon as the video goes live. That's u.iState.tv. You is in unique. We'll meet you there at u.iState.tv, where video meets the iState. If you want to think outside the box, sometimes you have to wear outside the box. All of your outside the box threads can be found at agora.threadless.com. Go to agora.threadless.com and find the right outside-the-box threads to fit your outside-the-box head. That's agora.threadless.com. Go to the Agora, unless, of course... <laughs> You're scared. You are listening to iState.tv's iWire Pulse, your home for the edge of the pulse, where we expose the reality of power around you and the opportunity to change that reality to favor individuals and free associations. If you like this podcast, please be sure to go to pay.istate.tv and sign up to be a monthly iStater. And now, back to the show. You are listening to iWire Pulse Wednesday with the one true Niz and Paul Gordon. Featuring Newsfire, Skynetter, and Liberty Tech. And now, here are your hosts, the one true Niz and Paul Gordon. The one true Niz. I got to find the comment that Lou made about that. He made this really funny comment, if I can find it here. Where is the comment that Lou made? It was about the one true Niz. Now you have me looking. You have me looking. Okay, he says, he says, the one true Niz. There is no Niz, but Niz and Paul is his messenger. <laughs> That's awesome. So this is the, you know, our last segment of the, of, 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 uh, this is our last segment of Disassociation Nation, which is ever. also, yeah, ever, ever, Disassociation Nation. Do we want to say a few more things about Disassociation Nation before we, we do this? Like, like what, 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 sure. what, what, do, you want, what, what do you miss? What? what do you miss about Disassociation Nation? Uh, I, I don't know, man. You know, in, in the beginning of that show, um, we had a lot of crazy callers that would call in, and this, they were this like, is, "This is pre-Paul, so this isn't even relevant." But go ahead, no, 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 go ahead. I'm it, not self-centered. You though. missed. Go ahead. You it, well, let me just tell you. Were you there for the guy who dug the RVs in the middle of the desert in the sand? No, I I, I got there a little community. bit after that. I remember you yeah. telling me about that when I joined the show. The dude that does, digs the RVs in the sand and like yeah, the difficulty of getting them on this show or I don't know what the that the story is but but yeah yeah for for, for yeah he would he would yeah. call from the middle of the desert Jacob Lou easy. Lou is uh, Lou Sander who who is going to be uh, the co-host with me on Thursday nights um, Jacob was asking yeah. who Lou was and was oh I was letting him know so Lou <laughs> he said Lou who I, I, you know, it's interesting. I have, I, I, uh, I, 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 I would listen to Freedom Fiends a lot, and I liked a lot of the people on Freedom Fiends. And it's thanks to Dissociation Nation that I got to meet a lot of them. And actually, yeah. Lou is from Freedom Fiends, so, and and now he'll be on this show, which is cool. And yeah, a lot of uh, I, who all, who all did we have on the Freedom Fiends on our show? 
Uh, Lou? We Michael? had Michael? Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, I did Jeremy? an interview of Michael. That's right. We had we had Jeremy, Jeremy, Jeremy Hengler. We had Diana, uh, we had, Diana uh, James Kyler. Weeks. James Weeks. Uh, Shane. Lisa Delasho. Shane, Shane, yep, he 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 was a fiend for a while. Some a lot of these folks aren't fiends anymore, but yeah, but that the, seems to be the trend. Well, there's a there's a rotating it? thing. There's a rotating thing. I'm not gonna right. I'm not gonna wander into the freedom fiend minefield because it's a minefield. Don't right want to go there. Right. Don't, don't want to go, go there. there. You know, this is the last segment, so it's like uh, okay, well, you know. So, but it was uh, for me. Dissociation Nation was great as a way for me to get back into it and because it's been like four or five years since i actually right. not 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 f-i-e-n-d-s jacob uh f-e-e-n's f-e-e-n's f-e-e-n-s but it, it was it was it was fun and uh it was really weird is right about the same i was about ready to message you and say you know what i think i think this association nation's over and you messaged right. me and said, I don't know. I, I was like, we kind of knew. It, it kind of ran its course. And yeah. it was cool. It was great. It was fun. It ran its course. And right. I think both of us, now you've moved on to, you're doing, uh, I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm allegedly a rotating host on that show, but I haven't been on that show in like 15 years on Torchwood. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we have yeah. to have you on again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Someday. It, it, Paul dropping hints. He's a hint. He's good at hints. <laughs> He's a hinter. A- I'm we not talked about that earlier. <laughs> we talked about it earlier. I know. No, no, definitely. But, um, I, I did, man. I had a lot of fun doing. I had a lot of fun doing that show, and uh, it just. Uh, it was time for. It was time for us to move on. Yeah. It was time for us to move on to other things. Uh, I, I had, I did a little stint over on LRN with the. Uh, uh, the Freedom Paradox. Yep, Freedom Paradox. With, uh, Severin Freeman. Yeah, and before that, it was an even shorter stint with Cop Block Radio. Which was also uh, Severin and Matt. Right, and then we moved on to the Torchwood Report. And uh, now we just kind of do this uh, show however we feel like it when we do the Torchwood Report. I mean, there's not really any 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 real type of structure. It's just really whatever we feel like talking about. And and now you're doing iWire Pulse Wednesday. That's the show. Right. That's what you're doing. Right. You could tell people that's, I'm a co-host of Our Wire Pulse Wednesday. That's right. the official show title, okay? I'm not on Our Wire Pulse Tuesday. No, he wouldn't name me on that show. He don't let <laughs> me on Our Wire Pulse Wednesday. Bad right, idea. just, just, right. just Wednesdays, man. So Mondays. <sighs> oh, oh, yeah. So I, I give, I give you guys like a real re- recap. So now next week I was, we were going to start next Monday, but my co-host for Monday, he's actually out of the country. He's actually he's got his his dad is sick and he's visiting him so. He won't be back until Tuesday. So well, the first show is actually going to be Tuesday. So that's Bodie. And that show, the lineup for that show is Lozilla. And then we do I Ponder, where we talk about weird, theoretical, whatever. And then the last segment for that show is I Science. So we talk about weird sciencey things. That's, that's why it's called I Science, because it's about science. And then... Uh, Wednesday, you know what we do here? We're doing it right now, sort of, like, sort of. Kind probably, of. Kind yeah. of, sort of, sort of, kind of. We're and shaking then, the bugs out. And thir- Thursday is a little bit more open for them, but the general flow is we'll have three segments like we do, and but it's it's me and Lou on Thursday, and it's shorter leash, longer leash, and off the leash. Those are the topics. <laughs> oh, and, and Monday. I didn't mention Monday. Duh. Monday. Monday is... Uh, Full auto, that's when we talk about guns. And then after full auto, then the next segment after full auto is, oh, iWorld. We're going to be looking like weird world, weird world headlines. Then, uh, 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 oh, that's Jacob, great. Jacob, I, know, I, I don't know enough about you. You're going to have to send me an audition tape. He said, can I be on iWire the second Tuesday of the fifth week of every month? Uh, possibly the seventh week. Um, uh, anyway. Huh. Uh, so then we do I I uh, the seventh at seven. Don't don't try to add it up. Uh, <laughs> and then the, the last segment on Monday is I prepper. So so those are the general segments, the general flows, and we're doing our I, our, our Liberty Tech here. I'm going to do a Liberty Tech bump because this right. is like 
Normally, hey, do you, go ahead. Do you remember uh, one of the best parts of Disassociation Nation was the very short-lived video segments from Nick doing his own. Remember, he used to make the videos of him like doing these prepper experiments. The twelve-minute-long videos with very little dialogue <laughs> on a radio <laughs> right. show. Right. Yes. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Good stuff. You just hear him clunking a screwdriver into like a <laughs> freaking like, soda can. And you're like, narrate this. Come on, narrate this. What are you, what, what are what are people hearing? <laughs> right. <laughs> so uh yes, I remember that. I remember that. Nick, you know, Nick, I don't know if you're listening. If you do listen, love you, Nick. But you were always better before the camera started. You were like cool and loose. <laughs> and I don't know what you wouldn't talk. You didn't talk enough, dude. And it's like you're shy. You're shy on video or on audio, but but you're great when there's no video or audio. We're going back and forth. Nick is Nick is quick. Nick is good. Maybe Nick, uh, if you ever if you ever feel like you've you've shaken your shyness, you want to come. Uh, we could black bag him. We could black bag him. How, what's a black bag? Yeah, like the like the CIA does. Oh, uh, okay. Okay, we'll black do bag. That. He we'll wouldn't even know the cam- There's, there are no cameras, Nick. It's there just are a no microphone. cameras. Yep. Yeah. yeah and yeah, you know, it'd be great, Dad. If you're like, yes. And, All right. Or not even. Don't even tell them there's microphones. Just no, don't even. No. Just don't black even. Bag. Don't even. Don't even. Uh, just we're like, here to have a conversation. We're just here to chill, dude. Just relax and chill. Just put this and... bag over your head. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just put this. <laughs> it's just. It's gonna be great. Just, just wear this blindfold. Dude. Dude. Trust me. It's gonna be great. Trust me. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's all you got. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hit you. This is what the the bump for the Liberty Tech segment is going to be. Our coercive associations being outmoded by technology. On Liberty Tech, we cover stories of emerging tech that suggest the days of coercive associations, even large scale centralized operations, may be numbered. And, and there you go. That's the the. Uh... I don't know how much of Liberty Tech we're actually going to do because we've been on for a while. But uh, uh, why don't we just do one story for Liberty Tech? Just what do you think? I got, I got yeah, a story. Yeah, we can do that. I got, I got you got story. the one? I got okay. a story. I got one. Hit, hit uh, me. If, if you think, I, I think this is a pretty good one, actually. Graphene's, uh, well, let me click on it here because I'm trying to read the title from the, the URL. So the title is, Graphene's Limitless Energy Potential Explored. So move over lithium, whatever else they use for the batteries. Graphene bio implants could be future of perpetual free battery power, dude. Back in 2004, there were these two University of Manchester physicists. How do you say that? Physicists. Yeah. Physicists. Whatever. Uh, there was these two dudes. He's <laughs> 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 like, oh, no, that would be the, huh. the other car. Well, there was these. Uh, back in 2004, there was these two University of Manchester physicists. For two dudes. Dudes. <laughs> two dudes <laughs> discovered a way to isolate atom thin sheets of granite, producing graphene. Now, graphene. As, as anybody who follows 3D printing, graphene is a big part of the 3D printing story and what's going on there. Um, and I'm not going to get into details of that. Uh, but something that's actually, it's not 3D printing here that we're going to talk about here. The question he pondered is, uh, so, so, so uh, another group came along from the University of Arkansas, just recently and what they were studying is why is it okay graphene is basically it's a 2d sheet of atoms but it's a 2d sheet of atoms that has properties of 3d solid materials and the materials they they ripple so the researchers from the university of arkansas read led by some guy he's got a great first name his name is paul that's a that's a wonderful first name uh, it, Paul Thibado, Thibado. Right, he sounds Thibado, like he sounds like he sounds like if we were in Egypt, he would be right by. He'd be right there, right by Thon. He'd be right he'd with right, Thon clipping toenails. He'd be right, yeah. Hey Thibado, <laughs> you know, hey, Ramsey, right. Ramsey, Ramsey's calls out, you know, a right foot th- Thon, uh, left foot yeah. Thibado. So right, right. Uh, 
so what they were what they were looking at they what they just wanted to understand the nature of the rippling but during the study what the researchers discovered um well it would actually change their focus so what they did was they attached these electrodes to the the ends of the sections of the graphene where these shifts were taking place and to their surprise they actually registered a small shift in voltage and the team, oh boy yeah so the team came to the conclusion that the amount of energy produced in a in what is a it's a it's a 10 micron by 10 micron section of graphene which is really really small by the way uh, i think uh, so so 20,000 of these you could fit onto the pin of a needle. So just to give you uh, perspective there. But it produced about 10 microwatts of power. But that means in the area the size of a pinhead, you could be producing 0.2 watts of power. The energy produced would be theoretically infinite. And But there is a caveat for this. And the caveat is that the graphene must be at room temperature about 65 degrees. What if it's hotter? I, I don't know. It's 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 not either. It's not going to work, or it won't be as effective. I don't know. So, the research has been picked up. Now, this part of the story sucks. The you by the U.S. Naval Research Laboratory with Thibado continuing to lead the project. So, but still, it's it's a, it's quite promising. I'm really interested in. And if you go to iState.tv, it's on the front of the site. The story, and included in there is a video a video called A Potential Source of Clean Limitless Energy. And, uh, yeah, whenever they're doing these research, they make a lot of hyperbolic statements. That, But but e- even if it's not limitless and whatever, it's still... It's still, now on, it's still cool because you can... It, it, this, this has potential applications in biopharmaceuticals. Yeah. Yeah. So it, this, this is the technology that may one day power you your cybernetic about, implants... Right. When you uh, become a Borg. <laughs> you got to go there. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you got to go there. You know, you know, you know, one of the one of the safeguards that people have felt good about. Uh, dude, you suck. Uh, is uh, <laughs> when, when they're talking about these drones, these killer drones and all these other things like, yeah, but, you know, they only have so much power. <laughs> right. Maybe not, not so much. You know. Yeah, but it seems highly. I mean, you'd really have to keep it in a. Uh, uh, it's cool. It's cool tech. Um, I, I I think it's. Uh, it's good. It's great. It promising, has, cool tech. My mind is reeling with the possibilities. The possibilities of. How I, I mean, this. really, if if you know, I'm I'm uh, a self-described vis provocation. I believe in understanding the reality of power and. Uh, uh definitely if you if if you have a, a technology emerging that enables people to create energy for cheap that is that would be a fundamental shift in the reality right. of power uh cuz right. suddenly yeah, how do, how do you contain that how do you centralize that how do you control that it's a lot more difficult right. so basically what you're telling me is that my blockchain based skynet ai in a super soft super strong robot body will one day be powered by the limitless energy of graphene nano sheets. Yeah, but you're going to get a lot of dates. <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> you're going to get a lot. Ladies are going to love you. <laughs> of course, oh you're married, so that doesn't really help you much. It doesn't help me much either because I'm married yep. too. So I don't know, man. I, th- I, th- I, th- I think we did this. What do you think? I think the show is done. I yes. think... I think we've uh, we've reached we've reached peak performance here, folks. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. It's yeah. all downhill from here. It's all downhill from here. So now <laughs> I'm not sure if this will pull off. So I don't want to say for sure that this show will pull off, but I'm hoping it will. I believe Niz that you expressed that maybe you'd be able to do it. Uh, I'd, I'm going to try if we can. I'd like to try to get Andrew, you, and Lou, and myself on tomorrow. And tomorrow's actually we're just gonna it's gonna be real loose. It's just we're just gonna just have a little meet the host. I, I would have liked wow. Yeah, powwow. I would have I would have liked to have done it with uh with uh Professor Rambo, who is the Monday night host, but again, he's out of the country, so so I'm not sure 
if 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 that's the case, then we will appear here as well on the Liberty Principle page. No consent from the governed. And if you're not following the Liberty Principle page, what the freak is your problem, dude? Seriously, Liberty Principle page, yeah. probably the best page. Well, actually, second best page. The best page is iState, the iState TV page. But mm. I could be biased. I'm, I, you probably think it's the Torchwood Report Facebook page, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't really have a personal preference. I, no, I, I don't really have a Yeah, preference. yeah. I so I want to thank everyone. is the one that I'm on. It's Niz. Real, oh, your, your personal page? Yeah, that's no, the I, best one. I, I follow that page. No. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's, that's not at all the case. Uh, all he does is post pictures of his meals. So, so I, I want to thank everybody for, for joining us, especially the folks that uh, joined us in the comments. And uh, I can assure you that... Uh, we will. Uh, I'll post this up on on the tubes of you as well. I probably have to download it. I'm gonna have to edit the one section where we suddenly cut out. What the heck is up with that? I don't know what what is up with that. OBS just totally punched me in the face. So we will see you either tomorrow night at 9 p.m. or you will be joining us for the first official. Tell all your friends. Tell all your family. Tell all your yeah. Android friends. I don't care. Tell them too. Hey, buddy. <laughs> tell everybody, tell your dog, tell your cat. No, don't tell your cat. I don't know cats. Cats are jerks. That's uh, an yeah. actual fact. Uh, th so we'll either see you tomorrow night or we'll see you Tuesday night, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for iWire Pulse Tuesday. It will be the first official episode of iWire Pulse, which will be going Monday through Thursday, 9 p.m. Every day. It's always me and it's always a different host and different topics. So. It's going to be a lot of fun, and we're, we're going to take over the world. Any any last so remarks cool. before, I, before I punch this puppy? I'll, I'll, I'll leave that with the finger pyramid of evil. <laughs> the finger, That's what I'll do. The finger pyramid yeah. of evil. <laughs> <laughs> Illuminati yeah. confirmed. Okay. All right. We'll see you either tomorrow or Tuesday night. And, uh, you know, oh, 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 one, one, one last, one last uh, recommendation. Uh, moral of the story. Really, I, maybe we should always end with the moral of the story. The moral of the story is don't sleep with your guns, okay? Don't do yeah, it. Yeah, it's dumb. Unless you're a cop. Hey, you know what else too? You know what else too oh, is uh, Friday night. Friday night, since uh, I State doesn't do any shows on Friday night, you could uh, find your way over to LRN.FM to listen to the Torture Report. You can hear me and Matt. Uh, you, you know what you need to do? You need to. You I'm going to talk about is. Cody. You know what? You, you know do? what Cody is? No, what's Cody? Cody is. Cody is an open source media player that you can uh, download and install hack files and stream content. So that you can cool. like stream all your TV channels and everything like that and your movies and all that. They, if it's Even if it's like in the theaters and stuff still, you can stream that stuff. Sometimes it's like Haji quality where it's, it's real bad. It's all legit, dude. It's all legit. You know, but yeah. le there's a very funny thing about that. This is, this is what we're going to talk about on Friday. 15 minutes. The government later. has actually... The government has actually warned that uh, Cody is dangerous. Well, that yeah, it is for Cody them. Cody, it is for them. Is dangerous. It is for them. And they're advising people to stop using it right now because it is, uh, according to the government, uh, the peeps. It's uh, it's a danger to your family and a danger to your house. And, I believe. Uh, I, destruction. I believe that it will give you AIDS, cancer, VD. Uh, of the right. butt to the face. Syphagon so. herpalades. Right. That, that's to what the it'll face. give you. It'll, to the face. Right. No, it'll give you syphagon herpalades to the face. To the face. You know what? Right. And, and if you don't disconnect it right now, you'll get super syphagon herpalades to the face. Yeah. You know what you need to do? You need to create, you and Matt need to create a 30 to 45 second uh, little video promo, and I can add it into our one of our breaks. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, you should do that. All right. We'll see you guys. We're 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 punching this puppy in the head. Good night, everybody.